Good morning, Minecraft fans. I am Brickwise, and today is going to be episode three of the new survival series. Um, going going pretty good so far. Uh, still haven't built a, a house for our enchanting table um, building, but figure we'll do that pretty soon. You can see up in the background is our nether portal. I did find a fortress, but I do want to get looting on my diamond sword before I go there and get a full diamond armor uh, set as well. Um, originally today I was going to talk a little bit about caving, uh, but I'm going to show you. I did find, I think I had mentioned that I had found a skeleton spawner. Uh, so we're actually going to work a little bit on that, and we'll see see what makes it into this episode, what's interesting, what's not, and whatnot. So, this is Brickwise. Subscribe to Brickwise on YouTube. That's W-H-Y-S-E. And enjoy. Uh, first off, I was going to uh, do my diamond helmet. I finally got 30 levels, and... I ran into a uh, helmet with respiration three, which, if you weren't aware, is oops, is uh, quite quite amazing. Let's see if it got give us anything else. And projectile projection four, protection four rather, and jumps. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see if we can ourselves looting available at least smite sharpness I'm gonna waste a lot of levels here as we need to every time you um, every time you enchant something it will set the enchants before you are. Okay. I don't need to have that much, but loot in three. Alright. So now what I'll do is I will wait until I have the uh, thirty levels again, which I meant to wait three. And hopefully once we have built the skeleton farm skeleton spawner, it'll work out well. But uh, let me put my armor back on here. Uh, though I could easily get some iron armor, and it might be just what I do. Because I almost died in between episodes. Uh, I was down to half a heart. In fact, I'm just going to take a quick nap. And I want to show you this. Uh, respiration 3, right? This is something I highly recommend. So, boots, feather falling 4, must have. So they fall from a high height, and you live to to get through. So look how quickly these bubbles go. Pop, 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 pop. Oops. Anyway, uh, and then how they fell off. Now we'll put respiration three on. Wielding guy right here. Keep good looking at a trident. And a copper ingot for the trident. So, did you see how long I could be underwater? Go cave exploring. Um, and maybe that's what I'll do. But look at this. I mean, how long this lasts. things around and we're not really having to worry about it. Um, still mine really slow underwater. But you can be underwater for a long time. I'm curious what's down here though. Oh, 
torches in here. The reason I want looting, because that's that's another must-have. Uh, with looting, you get an opportunity to make more uh, value for your uh, for, for when you defeat mobs. So, like when I'm going to be farming skeletons. It gives the opportunity to get more from those skeletons. Uh, or blaze rods. You have an opportunity to get more blaze rods. Um, a lot of different, a lot of different options. A lot of different benefits. Check this out. Water at the bottom. Sploosh. Alright. Then, uh, this is my way back up, though it's not complete yet. And that's the spawner. So from right here, you can't... It's not active. From right here, it is. So that's why I have this there. From here, it's not active either. Um, I'm in the process of building the spawner out, so click this switch and the hopper moves there's some red still behind there click this and it doesn't um, we're gonna be dropping them down 22 22 squares to here which will give them half a heart so you can just punch them or use your looting uh, looting three sword and get more stuff from them uh, punching them because they have half a heart it'll just it'll kill them instantly and you'll get the loot you get the experience if you were gonna AFK here number one you'd want to make sure that you were area where this is still lit so I'd probably stand right here AFK they'd fall and instantly die right there and uh, that would continue spawning and whatnot you wouldn't get the experience because they die with fall damage um, I am not going to take credit for this design, as it was definitely not me, but uh, this was Prowl that put this, uh, he's got a really good, really good video that I will put in the description below for how to do all of this. Um, I knew some of it, but there's a couple of design points that I was not aware of, and a lot of the people who do um, bedrock guides don't really go into much detail but the one that he put in there was was pretty dang cool uh, with some of the information that he gives number one going that far down it looks pretty far down compared to a lot of the guides that I've seen on how to build these rooms um, but the reason is is that a lot of people put these rooms based on the spawnable area but if you actually lower than that then they'll continue spawning more because if any of the uh, spawning spawning uh, mobs are in the spawnable area then that reduces the amount that could spawn on the next iteration the next tick that causes the spawn um, so it drops down further farther uh, a couple of items here to note so the pushing of the water all that stuff is pretty normal now there's the two levels here. So on this side, you see it's just dropping down one, and then the water's moving. The button stops it, but the skeletons go. Then there's this one, which drops down farther. The button there to start that, and then a new water supply there. The reason for this is if you have them on both the same level, then they can get hung up, where two of them are trying to get pushed through this, and they get stuck and can't go. 
um, but the way that this is all set up, they'll both fall here, they won't get stuck, and they'll go to here, um, which will shortly be a bubble elevator that'll bring them straight up. And then it'll drop them down, it'll move them this way a little bit, so not far, but it'll move them this way, drop them down right here, and they'll have half a heart, or like I said, you flip the switch, then they will just die as they hit. Um, underneath there, and I'm not done with this area yet, uh, any, at, at any, by any means, but uh, as it goes down in here, it'll go through these chests. There will be an, a sorter down here. Sorters are pretty easy to do. Um, but again, I would recommend Prowl's video because he does a sorter that is uh, really good for bedrock. And um, he's done a couple of videos on it. Uh, but either way, I'm going to... Uh, I'm actually going to stop talking for a bit, and I'm just going to uh, build this. Um, I think I understand pretty much, but uh, we will maybe do some testing and whatnot and see, make sure everything's good. Uh, but I know this has to go to 22, which we're at zero right here. one here. I think though that means that literally they need to move on the 22 axis. So we're gonna we're gonna work on that and test it out and see what happens.
little break here. Number one, um, I might be stopping soon, but uh, just just a quick reminder. Uh, sub to Brickwise on YouTube, W H Y S E. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at how productive the farms are um, that we built episode, and show the kelp farm, which could have a slightly better design. But I uh, figure we'll at least show you how things are going with these. So, number one, bamboo farm. It runs when I'm at the house. It may even run when I'm in uh, the uh, area down there. But uh, again, we have to build a whole building around this thing. But um, bamboo. Very productive. Now keep in mind, probably to here, maybe one and a half rows, uh, did come from me knocking down the bamboo forest thing that I had built behind here. So that's, you know, what have you. Sugar cane, not, not horribly bad. Kelp, uh, two and a half stacks. And keep in mind, I actually took about two stacks from here. Um, but basically, same design as these other ones. I only have five across uh, versus the ten in all these other ones. It only grows very fast, but it hits that. The water flow brings it down into a couple of hops here. The cactus farm. Pretty, pretty productive, I would say. Um, I think one thing that could make this a little bit better, though, is if you put on the cactus farm uh, like an auto smelter, because I think that's pretty much all I'm going to use it for. Same thing with the kelp farm, right? Um, but anyway, a little far off for that. Uh, but with that, I think I might sign off. Like I said, I will put the uh, I will put the description or the uh, the link to Prowl's video in the description because that is where I got the idea and it definitely is a, is quite a bit better I think than a lot of the other ones I've seen for for bedrock and with that movement of the farm. I'm going to say, don't forget to like, subscribe, brickwise, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.